Hello, so today we are talking about reference angles. So when an angle is drawn in the coordinate plane, oh yeah, so just like all these other foldable videos, um, anything in red you definitely want to write down and put it in your foldable, and anything that I write in black is kind of like just me sketching as I talk. So when an angle is drawn in the coordinate plane, like this, the reference angle is the angle between the terminal side of the angle and the x-axis. So if you'll notice in quadrant one, the reference angle is always just going to be the angle, whatever angle it is, right? Um, in quadrant two, let's say you have an angle that, a theta that goes all the way over to quadrant two. Now his reference angle would be the distance between the terminal side and the x-axis, so this would be the reference angle for that angle drawn in quadrant two. If I wanted to draw a theta or an angle in quadrant three, its terminal side is in quadrant three, its reference angle is going to be the distance from the terminal side of the angle to the nearest x-axis. So that's what its reference angle would look like in the third quadrant. And then for an angle in the fourth quadrant, theta is all the way over to here. Its terminal side ends in the fourth quadrant. Therefore, its reference angle would be the distance to the closest x-axis, and that would be the reference angle for an angle in the fourth quadrant. So here we have an official definition of a reference angle. I would definitely put that down in my foldable. And there's these really cool formulas that you can use in order to find the reference angle of an angle in whatever quadrant it is located in. And that little formula chart is right here. So these formulas make perfect sense because they're basically just telling you the reference angle is sandwiched between the terminal side of, the, of theta and the closest x-axis. And here is how we calculate the closest x-axis to that angle. Um, <clears throat> reference angles are really cool because they make it possible to evaluate trig functions for angles outside of the first quadrant. So we know how to evaluate angles um, in the first quadrant. It's super easy, right? We could totally calculate the tangent of something like pi over 4. So when we're calculating um, the tangent of pi over 4, we would first sketch it, right? So pi over 4 would be in the first quadrant right here. And um, the tangent would be the opposite over adjacent of these here. So we would have rad 2 over 2, rad 2 over 2. Tangent is sine over cosine. Tangent of pi over 4 is red 2 over 2 over red 2 over 2. You could totally have this memorized from uh, doing it a million times, or you could look at your tab number 4, common trig angles, and you could locate the tangent of pi over 4, and it would be super easy to see. Um, if you had an angle that was not in the first quadrant, right? Let's say you had something like theta is uh, 5 pi over 4. And the problem says calculate the tangent of 5 pi over 4. Well, now, first, you would sketch the problem. Obviously, you would sketch the angle, see what quadrant it terminates in. Um, 5 pi over 4 terminates in the third quadrant. So I would use the formula up here to find the reference angle of something in the third quadrant. So the reference angle of something in the third quadrant is going to be theta minus pi. Theta, in this case, is 5 pi over 4. We have 5 pi over 4 minus pi. Um, I'm subtracting fractions here, so in order to get a common denominator, I'm just going to rewrite it like this, and I'm going to get pi over 4. So this is my reference angle, and I could use my reference angle in order to calculate um, any trigonometric function. So I'm going to use the tangent of pi over 4, tangent of my reference angle. I'm going to go to my common trig angles table over here. I'm going to find out what the tangent of pi over 4 is. The tangent of pi over 4 is 1. And then in the third quadrant, all students take calc. Tangent is positive. So the tangent of 5 pi over 4 would just be 1. 
and we have used reference angles to calculate that.